of course, it takes a legendary composer like Nobuo Ematsu to, to pull that off. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. Hey, music friends, this is David Vask. I'm a music composer for games. And today we're going to listen to and talk about a different track today, different than the stuff that we usually hear. It's going to be a Final Fantasy VIII track called Liberi Fatali. And it's the track that plays during the intro for that game. This was a request from Patreon. So yeah, I'm excited to listen to this. I've never played Final Fantasy VIII, but I love Nobu Ematsu, the composer. So yeah, let's go. And by the way, usually I don't look at any game images while I'm reacting to these songs. But since this is a song for an intro cinematic, it's a song for a cutscene, I will be watching the cutscene as well. This will be fun. Oh, I hear, I hear the ocean. I will be here. Oh, this is great. And this is a real orchestra, by the way, which was not that common back then. promise. Oh, very dramatic. So, at the beginning here, it starts with just the choir singing this one note. This is a very interesting note. I think... It, this note to me feels slightly out of tune. If you guys watched my video on Asgore from Undertale, you remember what I said about microtones, which, is, which are those tiny little notes that, that are in between the notes of the piano, so we can reproduce it here in the piano and I'm not sure it feels slightly out of tune here it feels like they're, they're singing a tiny little note in between this and this so it's a note I can't really reproduce here it's very close to this to a, a, a an A flat but it doesn't feel quite right to me so uh, and of course, I, it's Nobu Ematsu is one of the best composers alive today. So I can't possibly imagine that this was not intentional. Feels like uh, an attempt to to give this note uh, a, a different kind of flavor. And then once the the whole orchestra comes in, it becomes it becomes tonal again, as opposed to microtonal. It, it becomes normal notes again here then it becomes this see this i can reproduce this i can reproduce no problem here in the piano but that note at the beginning this is very curious i wonder why they did that that note at the beginning sounds out of tune when i play it here slightly slightly out of tune and then here he's gonna do a sort of build up yeah, with the choir. See, this this I can reproduce here. And he is... He's going up in the notes very slowly, building that, that tension. And he's holding... He's holding one single chord, building that anticipation, like I said. And he changes it here. Beautiful choir, beautiful melodies. Oh, 
such masterful orchestration dude this is legendary stuff and the same way that he he keeps changing the key of the song at the same time he's doing something called modulation in case you don't know modulation means changing the key of the song the key is the group of notes that the composer is allowed to use in the song if you play a note that is outside of the key it kind of sounds out of tune sounds wrong so the the key is like the the group that you stay in and you play those notes if you are a guy like Nobu Ematsu composing for a very dynamic cutscene like this, but uh, uh, something that you can do is change the key and suddenly you have a new group of notes that you're now using and that makes the song feel different. And even you, if you have no training at all in music, if you know nothing about theory or music or anything, you can hear it, your, your ear can notice it. You might not perceive it consciously, but you can feel that change in the atmosphere when the composer changes the key and that's what he's he keeps doing that here uh, many times and it goes very well with the changes in scenery uh, in the cutscene so like here for example he's in this key did you see the change the moment of the change, you even if you don't know anything about music, you can you can feel it. So again, it's gonna change here. Did you feel it? It it makes the piece sound very dramatic and, and dynamic because because it's changing all the time and it, it keeps kind of confusing your feelings. But but that's good for such a such a hype building cutscene like this. This is. The first thing probably, I've never played this game, but this is the first thing that you see when you boot up the game probably. So they want to hype you up, feels very dramatic. It reminds me a lot of, of opera, of like romantic opera. Very, very dynamic, keeps changing all the time, very dramatic. And of course, it takes a legendary composer like Nobu Ematsu to, to pull that off. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. And they're still repeating that same kind of model of melody from the beginning in the choir. Oh, he changed key again. Oh, disturbing chord right there. To portray the, the battle. It's a lot tense, a, a lot more tense now. Oh, the hits. Now, there's something interesting here. If you guys remember my video on sealed vessel from Hollow Knight, there was a point in the track where, where there, there were some attack notes like bah, 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 something like this. And I pointed out it, it sounded like stabbing. People were very impressed with that because there, there's the, the the boss stabs himself in that battle. But this is just something that composers do. I'm not like crazy good at predicting these things. It's just, you know, a, a pattern is, is a thing that we do. And you can see it here in this battle. There's a sword battle again. So lots of, of stabbing. Did you hear? The bum. The, these are called attack notes that are very short, punchy notes. And it's cool that we even have the sound effects here of the swords because the, the sound effects, the, the hits of the sword blend very well with the attack notes on the orchestra. So yeah, this is, is I guess, something that composers do to portray sword battles or battles in general. It works very well. Very good, very aggressive. Oh, the, the run, super fast runs. 
on the strings. It's building up. Build up, I think it's gonna end. Wow, it ended on a very disturbing chord here. As they are about to embrace here, and it's an interesting contrast between the music and the visuals, as they are about to embrace, which you would think would be a positive thing, there's a very disturbing chord playing, very tragic, very dramatic, suggests some, some kind of tragedy to me. This very, very ugly and disturbing. And then they actually end the song. And this, this is also very interesting. You would think that since they did the, the fake out with the disturbing chord, they would now actually end on an actual satisfying resolution but no this chord leaves even more questions because it's not a natural uh, finale kind of chord it's not a natural resolution kind of chord it's an uncertain chord because it lacks the kind of notes that let you know if it's a happy chord or a sad chord so we we don't know i can definitely tell there's probably a lot of tragedy a lot of uh, more somber and negative tones to this story because they're really going out of their way to not end on a positive note and at the very least leave it in a, a tone of uncertainty this track was suggested on patreon by Jaden rivera hooray Jaden rivera and guys one of my favorite things about you guys sharing the music from the games that you love with me is that sometimes it reminds me of some cool games that i still have to play i absolutely have to catch up with some of these old Final Fantasy games that I missed, including 8. And hey, I have more videos on Final Fantasy music over here. I think I have a video on Final Fantasy 12 and 15. It's been a while, but it's all over there, so make sure to check it out. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.